Hello students, today we are going to do computer and the chapter is Computers, Storage and Memory Devices. You know human beings, we use our memory to store information. That's how we remember things. Similarly, the computer also has a memory which it uses to store data and instructions. It can get information from its memory and when required. For this, computer uses storage devices or memory devices. Therefore, the main memory unit can only store a small amount of information. In order to store large amounts of information, the computer uses the hard disk, which is fixed inside the computer. Some memory storage devices are portable. The pen drive, compact disk CD, and DVD that is digital video disc are examples of portable storage devices. They can be used to carry data from one place to another. So now difference between data and informations. What is a data? A data is a collection of words, numbers, pictures, sounds we feed into the computer through various input devices. They do not give information. For example, 2 plus 3 is equals to 5. These numbers and symbols as shown in the image alongside do not give any meaningful information on their own. They are simply a set of a data. But when they are arranged as 2 plus 3 equals to 5, we can understand what they mean. That is, 2 is added to 3, the result will be 5. So thus, when a set of data is processed in a meaningful way, that is called information. Units of data storage. The computer uses with a binary form of data that it uses only two digits, 0 and 1. 0 represents the off state and 1 represents the on state of the computer. When electricity flows into the transistor of a computer to turn it on, it represents the value 1. And when the computer turns off a transistor, it represents 0. So what is a transistor? It is a tiny device which converts electric current to electronic signals. So all the data we put into the computer are converted into digits 0 and 1. These digits are called binary digits or bits. So they are the, they are the smallest unit of a computer memory that is called a bit. Types of memory. A computer has two types of memory. Primary or internal memory. Second is secondary or external memory. So, what is primary memory? Primary memory is a part of the central processing unit or CPU. It is also called the main memory or internal memory. The primary memory is fixed on the motherboard inside the CPU box. So, there are two types of primary memory that is read-only memory ROM and next is random access memory that is RAM. Read-only memory that is ROM. ROM is the permanent memory of a computer. ROM can be read. It cannot be changed. ROM stores instructions for the working of a computer system. The instructions are built into the memory when the computer is manufactured. ROM is also called the non-volatile memory or the memory which is permanent. Random access memory that is RAM. RAM is used to store data and instructions that are currently being processed by a computer's CPU. It is also known as read and write memory. RAM memory allows us to read and store new data. The data stored in RAM is temporary. It can be overwritten and disappears when a program is closed or the computer is shut down. As the data disappears, it is also known as volatile memory. So students, today we will do till primary memory.